guys, welcome back to my channel and happy holidays. It was Christmas yesterday. I am still mostly in a food coma. I'm not gonna lie. I hope you're all having an amazing Christmas day and just holiday season with your families and your friends and everything like that. I'm so festive this year. I love it. So today's video is a huge makeup and beauty haul. So a lot of these items are from holiday makeup collections or things that have been released onto the market in the last couple of months. They look super amazing and I can't wait to play with them. I always try and haul things before I play with them so that you guys get to see them at the same time that I do. So there are a couple of, you know, lower priced items, sort of more affordable and then all the way up to like super luxury like Givenchy and things like that. So if you are interested in seeing a mega beauty haul, then please keep on watching. So first up I wanted to mention these brushes. These are the new Morphe Rose Gold Collection brushes. <laughs> Struggle with that sentence then. These are so ridiculously soft and check out this bad boy. This is the RO. It is the most amazing huge soft powder brush ever. They're really really beautiful. There seems to be a mixture of synthetic hairs and goat hair, goat's hairs in this one. These two here are also favorites. This is like a um, you know tapered face brush. Really great for sitting underneath the eyes. I've been using this flat out and a really cool little blending brush as well. These were released in the last couple of months. They're not you know sort of brand 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 new but I've, I don't think I've spoken about them on my channel yet. I love Morphe brushes simply because they're really good quality for really affordable prices. So why spend ridiculous amounts of money if you don't need to? <laughs> Next up, I've got a couple of items from Too Faced and I am doing a massive, like I can't even begin to stress, massive Too Faced giveaway on my Instagram. So if you're not following uh, on my Instagram account already, make sure that you head over there because it is like, oh, it's ridiculous. I could cry, it's that ridiculous. Um, this is the Too Faced Hangover RX. That normally stands for treatment. Hangover Treatment Primer. <laughs> this has got coconut water, probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers in it. Now I've got no idea how this goes for oily skin, but it's had some really, really great reviews. So I'm really excited to actually try this one out. The packaging for this looks like that. It's actually really cute. So that is that one there. Um, I will definitely give this a whirl in a tutorial and let you guys know what I think. And I also recently got some of the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. These are the long lasting 16 hour blushes and I have been dying to try these because something that's supposed to last for 16 hours is always going to be a winner on my oily skin. They come in these little cute love heart pans and then um, it's printed with like bunny rabbits and stuff. Too Faced has really got the cutest packaging. So I got a few of these. So I got Love Hangover. This darker one here is Your Love is King. Oh, too cute. This one's like a darker sort of mauve kind of color. So that one there. And then this peachy color Baby Love, which is this one. I do think it will be interesting to put these to the test and to see if they do actually last for, you know, 16 hours. Next up, I have a few items from BH Cosmetics. And other than the Shanexo palette and the Kali Bible palette, I've never tried BH Cosmetics. I know that's so weird because everyone that raves about it and loves it but Nakia has never tried it. <laughs> I got a few of their new items so these are the marble collection so they've released a cool stone and a warm stone marble eyeshadow palette. Packaging for these is absolutely stunning really luxe kind of looking they, they are quite weighty as well they don't feel cheap in any way. Look at that so this one here is the cool stone and this one is the warm stone this one here is going to be a winner for me, definitely. They're all my favorite shades. And then also from BH Cosmetics, the Illuminate palette. This is their collaboration that they did with Ashley Tisdale. High School Musical Days, coming back. Oh, oh, okay. So this one's cardboard packaging. It's much lighter and flimsy. It doesn't feel as good as quality as the packaging of the other ones. But it looks like these may be a mixture of cheek and eye colors pretty though. There are a lot of other items in this Ashley Tisdale collection. Illuminating shimmer. What is this? Cream, cheek and lip tint. Ooh, there are those ones. Oh, the shimmer looks insane. Actually doesn't have much payoff. Bummer. And then some lip glosses as well in skinny dipping and tan lines. They're actually really quite opaque for a lip gloss. Pretty colors too. And then lastly, the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro. This is the dual effect wet and dry eyeshadow. And I think that you can use, oh yeah, apply with a dry shadow brush for the look of a traditional powder shadow or a damp and synthetic brush for opaque dramatic high intensity color. Ooh, so those are the colors for that one there. I think we should definitely use this in a tutorial and see how it goes. 
They swatch really nicely, actually. Really pigmented. Oh, pretty. Back to Morphe. You will know that they recently released their pressed pigments. These look in like absolutely insane. I have got the entire collection and I'm thinking maybe we should do a whole review video on it because I believe there's been like some controversy about um, the formulas and affiliates and you know all this kind of stuff. These look seriously insane. Here is three of my favorite colors. So this one here is Powder Room. It's like a really soft shimmery pink. This one is high class, a beautiful rich gold. And then this one is Rodeo Dry, which is amazing copper. Let's do a little swatch so that you can see how these work. So on the back of my finger, it's insane. And then on my hand, oh, oh you're kidding. Oh my God. That is out of control. Oh, why did I not try these earlier? So there are swatches of those colors. They are seriously, <laughs> I could not feel more excited. So we will do a whole um, review video and swatches of all of the shades. And also another new release from Morphe is this highlighting palette. And this one is in collaboration with Daisy Danger. I actually have never heard of her, but she's really pretty. Oh, hi mama. That looks so nice. So there's a mixture of matte and shimmery highlights. Obviously you can use it as a traditional highlight and also as like a baking highlight. They swatch nicely on my fingers. Oh, and they swatch nicely on my hands too. Yeah, definitely we will use this in a first impressions tutorial as well so that you guys can get the down low on if this is good or not. Okay, next up I got a couple of things from the Too Faced Christmas collection. Too Faced does the most beautiful Christmas collections every year. They go above and beyond and it looks like that is no different this year. So this here is the Christmas in New York Merry Macaroons Vanilla Scented... It's an eyeshadow palette. It comes in this adorable little pink box. Oh my gosh. And then you open it up and it's got like this cute little um, like display. Like it's like a nativity display nearly with a better than sex mascara and then the eyeshadow palettes down the bottom here. Oh, stop. It smells so good. So that's the colors that are included in that one. These are still available. So um, yeah, hello Boxing Day sales. <laughs> and then this one here is the Christmas in New York Grand Hotel Cafe. It's got three eyeshadow palettes and they're all scented. Oh, so eggnog, peppermint mocha and gingerbread scented. Again, it comes in an adorable little box. Inside you've got the three eyeshadow palettes and then a Better Than Sex mascara as well. Let's get to the good stuff. So this one is Peppermint Mocha. Then we have Gingerbread Cookie. Like how cute are these? They're like little mini palettes. And lastly, Eggnog Latte. Oh, you can make some really... Look at that shimmery colour there. Cold brew. Oh. I love Christmas. Another cute little collection that came out was the Chloe Morello collaboration with Seate London. Um, so they have released an eyeshadow palette. It's called the Chloe Morello Beauty Haul. And it's an eyeshadow palette, a mascara, and a liquid lip dew. And it comes in this really cute like little, looks like a holiday. Is it holiday edition? It's a cute little case anyway. Oh, I could use this on New Year's Eve actually. So in the pouch, you've got a mini of the Wonderland mascara. A mini of the Liquid Velvet in Pinup. That is such a Chloe colour. Oh. oh my gosh, I need to put this on my face immediately. And then this is the actual palette. So it's called the Pretty Fun and Fearless Palette. It's got beautiful packaging. And these are the colours that you get inside. Now I have swatched a few of these. I think I swatched them on Snapchat. Um, but I'll definitely use it in a tutorial. And this um, palette is still available on Ciate's website. Moving on to some more holiday collections. I had to show you this limited edition version of the My Burberry fragrance. You're going to freak out when you see this. I nearly fell over when I unboxed it. Um, it has glitter in it. Look at that. Oh, it is seriously the most stunning. Stunning bottle of fragrance ever, and this smells like beyond. So this one is limited edition for the holidays, so if you want to get it, you're going to have to get it quickly. In Australia, I'm pretty sure you can get it from Sephora and Maya stores. Next up, some holiday items from Givenchy. <laughs> the packaging. Honestly, the holiday collections that Givenchy does are like beyond. It's gold. It's gold. 
Part of this collection is this beautiful little eyeshadow palette and look at the colors that are included in here. Amazing, so amazing. Also done a lipstick in the same packaging for Christmas, like all the holidays. It's kind of like a muted pinky red color. It's really nice. And then finally a limited edition packaging version of the Prism Libre, which is like a beautiful, um, it's a color correcting powder, setting powder for the skin. Guerlain also released a Christmas collection and I wanted to show you the meteorites from that collection. They always um, release limited edition packaging of their meteorites and that the Christmas version this year is beyond. I've been collecting the Galan meteorites for years and I pretty much have every limited edition packaging that they've released. The meteorites are little, like it's, it's a face powder, it's like a brightening, perfecting powder, um, but they come in little balls and you swirl your brush around in there and then apply it to the face. Oh, and they're perfumed and they smell so good. So good. And then lastly, I wanted to show you the NARS collection that they did in collaboration with Sarah Moon, who I believe is a famous fashion photographer. It's got some really beautiful imagery on the front of these palettes. Okay, so first up we've got the Give In Take um, Eye and Cheek palette. These are really some incredible collector's items. And the inside of this palette is absolutely stunning. This one here is the True Story Cheek and Lip Palette. Again, really, really beautiful limited edition packaging. And then you've got four blushes and a lip crayon in there. This is the Mind Game Velvet Lip Glide Set. <gasps> oh, these are really beautiful. They're like liquefied lipsticks and the packaging is to die. And then the last two come in these incredible glass, they're nearly like jewelry boxes. Honestly, if you're a makeup collector, <laughs> mm, you will flip. So this one here comes with um, the mascara and lipsticks in it. And then this one here has like this massive pair of lips on it. And inside here is a bunch of the NARS Audacious Lipsticks, which are actually um, one of my favorite formulas of lipsticks. They're so creamy. So that is it for my holiday makeup haul, guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of these limited edition pieces from holiday collections and things like that. They are all still available for sale. So if you want anything, um, I will have all of like the description bar filled with the details and links and things so that you can get your hands on them. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed your Christmas. Enjoy your New Year's, which is like just around the corner. I have got New Year's makeup looks and things coming, so don't you worry. I love you guys so much. Merry Christmas, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.